Hey everybody, it's Christine, and today I'm here with a layout for Stuck Sketches. I'm on their design team now, and so you'll be regularly seeing me using their sketch to create a fun new layout each month. Now, I am using primarily the Chamel Little by Little collection um, from American Crafts, but I also am using a little bit of Oh My Heart from Pink Paisley, which is what my base paper there is, that green paper. I decided to go with two pictures on this layout instead of three. The sketch actually called for three smaller ones and I just didn't have three that I loved for this case and so I decided to go with two bigger ones. And I matted those in white and then I am kind of building off of the colors that are in the layout or in the pictures. Um, my dress is a green that matches the background and then I am adding in some yellows and pinks and reds and all of those were just based on one of the patterned papers from the little by little collection. I did fussy cutting with it and decided to just build on that color scheme. So I am starting off the sketch. I It called for the pictures and then it called for some border strips below and above the pictures. And so I'm adding in my pops of color already with that before I start embellishing. And that gives me a really good base to start building off of. As you can see, I'm working in some pink and red and I got some yellow in down below, but actually I end up pulling that up and I change it to a different thing because I just didn't love how the scallops looked. It was it was not working with what I was going for. So now here you see the patterned paper I was talking about. This is I, I cut those flowers out of that patterned paper and am just building my embellishments with those flowers. The sketch called for a circle right there in the top left corner above the picture and of course, being myself, I veered from the sketch and I am just building a cluster of flowers, not a circle, to highlight the spring feeling of this layout. You know, I'm terrible at following sketches exactly. If you go to the Stuck Sketches blog, you will see that the girls, most of the girls follow the sketch really, really closely. And I always like intend to <laughs> and then I kind of veer off into Christine world and you know you can still tell it comes from the sketch but I don't have the exact same elements lined up and I think that's okay because that is kind of the point of a sketch to give you a good jumping off place to work with. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and add is these pieces that they look like cut file pieces but they're not they're actually from the paper pad from oh my heart which i mean they are cut file pieces they just aren't ones that i actually cut myself now these ones are white and that that paper pad comes with several different ones like this and i just added those in because I felt like my pictures were starting to drown a little bit and since they had a white matting on them I wanted to add in some pops of white and I really love how this tied everything together brought the eye back into those pictures a little bit more just by adding in some simple white embellishments so that was just a quick and easy way to do that this these flowers actually come from one big piece that you could just lay right on top of a 12 by 12 paper pad and obviously I cut them apart. So then the next thing I'm going to add is my title, which again, <laughs> in the sketch, it actually goes up above the pictures, but I, the length of my title, it didn't work for that. So I put it below and all I did here is I just cut out the word friends. And this also comes from one of the patterned papers from the Little by Little collection. And I just fussy cut those, leaving a little bit of a white border. Again, bringing in that white um, to help re-emphasize the white throughout the layout. And then I am going to add in a few more fussy cut flowers. Uh, obviously, I needed a little more. That there was kind of lacking color in the in the bottom and side there and so I cut out a few more small ones from that same patterned paper uh, they had some big options as well as small ones and so that worked perfectly for this situation 
And then I, as I said earlier, I changed out that yellow strip and I'm just going to add in a plain old strip, but then I'm also going to add in some sticker stitches from SRM stickers. These just look like you did some stitching on the project and you didn't actually have to. They're just clear stickers, which is fantastic. And I added those throughout just as an embellishment. And then the next thing I'm going to be adding is some additional, uh, texture with wood veneer pieces. These pieces that I'm going to be using all come from Jelly Bean Soup and they make great wood veneer pieces so it was just perfect and I add in the word happy there and I'm going to just attach it with some adhesive dots from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L and then I'm also going to add some hearts around the title there and really make the title a bit more of a focal point by that. Uh, just easy, simple way to add some really cute, fun embellishing. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna be just folding up my flowers and curling them a little bit to add some extra dimension to everything. And that is pretty much it. Uh, this layout, I love the spring look of it and I love the ladies that are on it. And so it's gonna be a special one to hang up in my room. Be sure to check out the sketch from Stuck Sketches this month and check out this whole layout up close on either on my blog or here at the end of the video. Thanks so much for joining me today. I will be back again soon with more videos for you.